Hello everyone, welcome to iQuanta. In ILRDI series, today we are going to discuss a set from CAT 2022, slot 2, 3rd set. Now this set is regarding a specialty supermarket sells 320 products. Each of these products were either a cosmetic product or a nutrition product. Each of these products were, was also either a foreign product or a domestic product. So none of the product is a cosmetic or nutrition both. None of the product is a foreign and domestic both. Each of these products had at least one of the two approvals, FDA or EU. So it's possible that one of the products have only FDA, pro FDA approval or only EU approval or both approvals. The following facts are also known. Now, what do we have? I have seen uh, many solutions where these questions were solved using Venn diagrams, but it doesn't require only one Venn diagram. It requires four Venn diagrams. So instead of Venn diagrams, I tried to solve it using tables and it was easier than all those methods. So we are going to use this information in this table, very simple and plain table as you can see cosmetic products, nutrition product, domestic product, foreign product, products from cosmetic which has FDA approval, EU approval or both approvals. Same for nutrition. Now there were equal number of domestic and foreign products. So total number of products we know that it's 320 and these two are equal. Number of domestic products is equal to number of foreign products this must be 160, this also must be 160. Half of the domestic products means 80, half of 160 is 80, were FDA approved. So half of the domestic, half of the domestic product were FDA approved. So total is 160, so FDA approved cosmetic products half of the domestic products right so 60 uh, where F fda approved cosmetic products cosmetic fda and domestic so we can put 80 here next none of the foreign products had both the approvals so we can take this zero and also this as zero while 60 domestic products had both the approvals, 60 domestic app products. So it could be either cosmetic or nutrition product. Let's say if this is A, this must be 60 minus A. There were 140 nutrition products. So nutrition products are 140. So number of cosmetic products must be 180. Half of them were foreign products. So out of 140 nutrition product, half of them were foreign products. So we can say foreign products out of nutrition products. So some of these two must be half of them. This is 140. So these two must be 70 as there is no common in them. We can take this as B and this as 70 minus B. There were 200 FDA approved products. FDA approved products could be domestic or foreign. This is 80. This is B. Let's say this value is C and this value is D. So what we can say here is 80 plus B plus C plus D is equal to 200. 70 of them were foreign products. Foreign products 70 of them, right? 200 FDA approved products, 70 of them were foreign products and 120 of them were cosmetic products. Foreign products B plus B, we can say B plus D is equal to 70. From there, we can say C will be equal to 50. So let's put it here. C will be equal to 50. And 120 of them were cosmetic. 120 of them cosmetic products, FDA approved. So 80 plus D must be 120. We can say D is equal to 40. 
if d is equal to 40 we can say b will be equal to 30 right if b is 30 if this value is 30 70 minus b must be 40 right so what do we have now we can say total number of foreign products is equal to 160 none of the foreign products have both the approvals so some of these four values should be equal to 160 some of these two is 70 this is 40 70 plus 40 110 this must be 50 that's all the information that we can find out as per the given information we don't know anything about cosmetic products domestic and eu approved we don't know anything about cosmetic nutrition products nutrition and domestic products eu approved so we have four different variables as per now but you will be amazed to see that we can solve few questions on this as well it is how many foreign products were fd approved cosmetic products foreign cosmetic fd approved it's 40 answer for this question would be 40. how many cosmetic products did not have fd approval so how many have fd approval 80 plus 40 120 have fd approval approval so how many don't have fd approval so this will be equal to 60 straight away so our answer is 60 for this question which among the following option best represent the number of domestic cosmetic products that had both approvals which of the following options best represent the number of domestic cosmetic products means we are talking about a what could be the value of a so as you can see total number of cosmetic products is equal to 180 of which we already have 40 plus 50 which is equal to 90 plus 80 which is 170 what we can say about a whenever if you take a here that value will come here also whatever value we take here that value because it belongs to both okay so minimum value that we can take must be 10 minimum value of this must be 10 and so in that case there will be value of a will be equal to zero which is not possible because sum of all these should be total 180 so in that case a must be at least 10 and the maximum value of a could be as you can see 60 minus a must be greater than equal to zero so maximum value of a must be 60 so minimum value of a is 10 and maximum value of a is 60 so at least 10 and at most 60 next question it says if 70 cosmetic products did not have eu approval did not have eu approval that means how many have eu approval so 180 minus 70 110 products have eu approval so this must be 60 60 plus 50 should be equal to 110 then how many nutrition products have both the approval so we need to find the value of 60 minus a in that case we need to find the value of a now what do we have fda eu both so this value is 90 some of so this value must be 90 how do we get it 80 plus 60 a is common in both so we need to subtract it this should be equal to 90 in that case we get a is equal to 50 if a is 50 60 minus a will be equal to 10 so answer is option a which is last question it says if 50 nutrition products did not have eu approval once again same thing 140 minus 50 which is 90 products will have eu approval so this value is 50 if this value is 50 we already know that this is 70 so this should be 70 right 50 plus 50 minus 60 minus a should be equal to 70 right so if you are confused about it let me make it clear to you this is fda this is eu the common portion is 60 minus a 
FDA is 50 and EU is also 50. So we need to find 60 minus A. Some of these values must be as total nutrition product is 140 of which 40 plus 30 are foreign, foreign products. So rest must be domestic products. So this must be 70. So what do we get the value of A? We get 110 minus 60 is 40. A is equal to 30. So if A is equal to 30, it says how many domestic cosmetic products did not have EU approval. So this value A is equal to 30. If A is equal to 30, let's say this value is E, then 80 plus E minus 30 should be equal to, once again, this is 90, total is 180, so this must be 90. Or we can say E is equal to 40. This value will be equal to 40. So how many products did not have EU approval, right? How many co domestic cosmetic products did not have EU approval? Domestic cosmetic products did not have. So how many have EU approval? It's 40. How many do not have EU approval? It must be 90 minus 40, which is equal to 50, right? So basically we are talking about only FD approval. This is 80, 80 minus 30 is 50. Total number of cosmetic domestic product which has FD approval is 80, but which has only FD approval will be 50, 80 minus 30, which is equal to 50. So we don't even need to count this one. You can ignore that also, but just to clarify, I have counted. So with this, we are done with this amazing set. Okay, I hope you learned something new, how to go with uh, these type of sets when there are three different dimensions of information has been given and you don't need to require to draw four or five Venn diagrams. Okay, thank you.